how are you today? Happy Monday. <laughs> You're good. And what did you do yesterday? How did you spend your weekend? Mm, I spent time for weekend just study English and play game. Mm -hmm. You just study English. How did you study English? In our class or in your different class? Uh, in my in my um, di no different class. Uh, I study a lot. Oh, you study class. a lot. <laughs> All right. So, Ken, um, did you go somewhere yesterday or you just stayed at home? I just stayed at home. Okay. So, I think you really study hard and I think you did your homework. Mm. Uh, yes. Did you do your homework? But, okay, uh, yes. I, I write, it's so small. It's uh, not uh -huh. long because uh, right. it, I don't have any ID. Yeah, ID? Uh huh. We always repeat that word. Is it ID? ID. ID, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. ID. All right, so I'll show you now my screen. Uh, can you write it and I uh, I go to make some question. <laughs> You're going to make some question out of it. I think I heard the rooster. Is it a rooster? No. Oh, I can hear some rooster. <laughs> Is that yours? Uh, do you have some rooster? Uh, this is my sister. <laughs> okay. So now can all right. Now can last meeting, okay, last Friday. I asked you to um write yes write paraphrase. Okay, paraphrase the paragraph. Okay, when we say paraphrase, it means we're going to um going to make a set question i know sentence uh, about right. this a uh, wind power or uh, something, something yes very good i asked you to um choose one paragraph okay you choose yes. one because uh, we I, have many here what did you yes. choose here i choose wind power Ah, uh -huh, wind power okay and when we say uh, you need to paraphrase wind power you're going to tell me or write um, what did you understand from this paragraph in your own words? Okay, yes. in your own words. So what the what are you going to write here? What uh, did you understand? I, I write uh, uh, wind power is very very tall and big. Is um is up to a tree. Uh, is has has. Uh, has to win and uh, uh -huh. has to win it has to win and it uh, make make the the village has uh, an electricity uh-huh that's it yes yes very good look you can paraphrase the sentence or the paragraph in your own words so that is how you paraphrase okay no need to write very long paragraph you don't need to repeat all the paragraph okay all you need to do is um write what you understand and in your own words okay i i just know uh two two questions with a uh, three sentence because three sentences. I, don't, I don't know a lot uh, about uh -huh. this one okay it's okay you can find the answer here, right? Yes. This one. Do you like to fly a kite on a window day? The kite lifts off the ground and goes high in the sky. A pinwheel, all right? We call it pinwheel, spins in the wind. Wind blows the seeds from a dandelion. The kite, the pinwheel, and the seeds are all moved by the wind power. Wind power is a source of energy. Getting power from wind is nothing new. People use power. In the wind power long ago, they made sailboats. Later, they built windmills. Wind turns the blades on a windmill. People use windmills to pump water, right? 
to warm pots water or turn grain into flour. Today, we can use wind power to make electricity. Electricity powers many things in our home, such as lights and refrigerators. So you said that the wind power makes the village, right? Right, makes the village to have electricity, and that is correct. So you did a great job, okay? All right, okay. very good, Ken. So now, <clears throat> I think we are done with we were done with answering these questions already. So we will move yeah. on now here, yes. right? Mm. Me and right. might. I, I think we are e. now here, right? Yes. Letter E? Letter E. Yes, let's be not study. Okay. Oh, oh no. Letter F is study again too. Letter F, we study that one. Yes. Study again. Yes. Last, last, last time. time. Okay. So I think we're, we are not yet done with this one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Can. All right. So I'll give you the difference between may and might because we're going to learn about may and might, right? When do yes. we use may and when do we use might? Okay. We have here. Oh, May. Peter, my is like should. May is? Like should. Yes, like should, okay. All right, this one. So we use may, okay, when something is more likely, all right, more likely to happen, okay more likely to happen but we're going to use might okay might teacher right. why you use mm -hmm. likely why you use likely is like now uh mm -hmm. yes all right when something is more likely to happen or something it will happen okay you are sure that it will happen okay there yes, is yeah. a possibility uh, Okay, there is a possibility to happen. Okay, but when we say might, it is um, if uh, something is less likely, all right, likely to happen, or you are not sure if it will happen. Okay, mm -hmm. then. Um, I, I, I all right, and but I right, you how how to it's use like it. when something is more likely, likely what you you all right, likely. Okay. When we say most more likely, can it is more there is more possibility, okay? There is a large chance or a big chance that it will happen, okay? More likely, big chance it will happen. When we say less likely, there is, is a small chance oh. that it will Peter, happen. Yes? Why you don't say like? Just like more like uh, it's like more like. More. Uh huh. We're not, we're going to use likely because it will um serves as an adjective or an adverb. Okay. Because if we're going to say more like, it's not correct. Okay. We should why? use more likely. Okay. Why? Oh, that's the sentence. All right. Okay, I don't one. understand. All right, you don't understand. Okay, this one. We're going to find the meaning of like. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's like beautifully. <laughs> okay, wait, Ken. When we say more likely, this one. Oh, wait. I think I'll send this one first to you and then I will explain more likely. Okay, wait. I think today we study this one. Yes, we're going to study this one. Okay, wait a moment. How to do more likely? Yes, uh, all right. Likely. Okay, this one. I'll erase this first. Do you know speak Vietnamese? Oh, I just know Xin Chao. <laughs> Why? Why? Maybe you can teach me how to speak it. 
Uh, because you speak, I don't know you. What did uh, What did you say? Uh huh. English. You cannot understand English. Yes. Just sometimes. Sometimes. All right. You can tell me if you do not understand. Okay. So when you use likely can such as, uh, it is. When we say likely, might happen or true. Okay. So we use likely if the sentence or the thing will be happen in the future or you are not sure it will happen. Okay. Teacher. For example, teacher, right? teacher. Uh, beautifully. Oh, beautiful is an adverb, right? Yes. yes. Why? Like this one. Yes, like this one. Like this one, likely is an adverb, okay? But like but why, probably. Why? <clears throat> Can you make the sentence a lot about likely and beautifully? Okay, all right. So this one, as uh, likely or probably, it's like the same, okay? Probably. Wait, I'll show you an example, okay? For mm -hmm. example. Um, it will most or most likely most rain easy. tomorrow. And, right. and it will Washington. most likely rain tomorrow. Okay. It was it probably? All right, probably. Okay, wait. Probably it will most likely rain tomorrow. It means it, yeah. Why oh. you use must? <laughs> okay, most. All right, because we cannot use more here. We are not comparing anyone, right, or anything. Okay. Oh, I don't that is know why, why we're going to use. Must. All right, you can also yes. So that's right. It will likely rain tomorrow. This one. It will more likely. All right, you can use most likely. Okay. What? Why you, you must must a uh, right. the land uh, very land is like super most it, yes yeah, superlative super like right? It means you are really sure. Okay, yeah. you are going. You are really sure that it will rain tomorrow. Okay. Ah, uh, it's like a more it just super and this one yes. must a to uh. 100 temperature. Yes, okay. Okay. All right. For example, you are very sure, okay? When we say most likely, you are very sure that it will rain tomorrow, okay? Okay, oh. okay I'll, I'll give you more sentences, okay? Oh, teacher, uh, if, you, uh, if you can show the most, and what happened? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not really correct. Look, probably it will. Oh, you can use this one. You can remove the mo likely. Probably it will rain tomorrow. That is correct. Okay, also. But you can also write this one. All right, that one. Okay. Probably it will most likely rain tomorrow. So you are very sure that it will rain tomorrow. Another example can is this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll very, okay, I'll very like, okay, likely be at home all day. Yeah. But uh, if you sleep, you will uh, tomorrow. It's like uh, tomorrow, not yet, uh, not today. <laughs> yes, you can also write that one. Uh huh. It will most uh, probably it will most likely rain today. You but are very it, sure that it will rain today. Will why you use will you don't use is? Uh huh. Because will is in the future, right? Yes, why? Yes, uh, it's not yet it's happening. It's not likely is will use will. Uh, <laughs> if what? You ask, well, if you All right, this one. Ask, well, Probably it is most likely. You can also use this one. 
because today but if you're going to use will you should use tomorrow or tomorrow because um, will will is will is in the about, future right how about was was all right we can was we're going to use yesterday oh we cannot use was here can yes, we cannot I use we <laughs> All right, we cannot use was because most likely is in the future. You are you are looking for the possibility, okay? I don't think it's All right, next one. Can look at this example, okay? I will very likely to be at home all day. So you use likely because you are very sure that you will stay at home all day. Okay? How about beautiful day? All right, beautifully. Okay, so ma let's make a sentence using um, beautifully. Okay. <laughs> All right, so wait. Take a nap. Are you just going to take a nap? Yes. Taking a nap is beautifully. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't like take a nap. Uh -huh. You don't like taking a nap? In yeah. the afternoon, for example, this one. She has. Um, oh, this one. They were all beautifully. Okay. They were beautifully dressed. Okay. So they were all beautifully dressed. So how how they will dress? Can it means beautifully? Okay, so you are describing oh, why, how they why dress. You, uh, uh, they are okay, it's okay. All right, another one, another sentence again. She sang beautifully. Just, uh, just, uh, uh, just like it's like this. Just, oh, yeah. Uh, not, not detail, and at the moment, it's last. Where is last? Uh, they were all. They were all beautifully dressed. Uh, dresses and wore. Mm -hmm. Dress. Very good. It says past tense already, right? They were why all beautifully dressed. But why use dress? Uh huh. Because that's the correct sentence, Ken. All right. We cannot say uh, they were because this is in the past tense, right? But uh, but but uh. We can say they are all beautiful. Uh -huh, yes, all right. Yes, you can you can use the one. They are right. They are beautifully dressed. Okay. Okay. All right, that one. And this one can she sang beautifully? Yes. So how did she how did she sing? It means beautifully. Okay. Yes. All right, Ken. I think I'll give you more activity with this one next meeting. Okay. So, what is the difference of might and may again, Ken? Uh, might and may is uh, you can use my uh, my is uh, is on the in the future and my is in the past. Uh huh. No, they were all they were the same. Okay. The, you uh, can yes, use the them same. both in the future, but you can use may when moment. something is more Today. more likely to happen. It means you there is a high chance. There is a high chance that it will happen, but you use might if you are not really sure that it will happen. Okay. Uh, teacher, if, uh, if uh, I have a fun, fun sentence. Uh, uh, if you I, I say she is very beautiful. Uh, beautiful is not true because not love. <laughs> uh, like this. All right, no can you cannot use you cannot use may and might to describe a person. Okay, you are just going to use might I, and may for the things that it will like happen. Just hope. Mm -hmm. It's like you get for, you just luxury. Okay, for example, Ken, 
I may. All right, I may go to your country next year. This one, I may go to your country next year and I might go to your country next year year so what is the difference between this one can all right the difference between this one is here you are sure okay yes. sure for example this is 99 percent but yes. because you use may but when you use might you are not really sure if you can go to the country all Just right seven. Not yes yes not really sure like 75 oh, right. 75 percent okay right yes all right so now can you are going to answer this one mm -hmm. all right okay mm -hmm. you are going to change the sentences to show you are not sure okay you are not sure it will happen so you can use may or might for example number one i will so if you use will can you are very sure right but if we're going to change that into might, it means you are not really sure, okay? You can visit your aunt on Sunday. So how about number two, Ken? Number two, my family will, will say a movie this weekend. Okay, uh, so what one, are This we... one is, this one in my... May, so very. Two. Yes, very good. May. Two. Yes, May. How about number but, three? Uh, it's my because on Saturday is not too a lot. Yes, so very good. So it's up to you. What are you going to choose, May or might? Okay. So it can be uh, true because, or it cannot uh, be true. How about number uh, three? Because my might. I might go to soccer practice on uh, Saturday. Uh, it's not true because on uh, uh, Saturday, if you have a sick, you will not go to the uh, soccer. Uh, but this weekend, you, you this weekend is a lot. This like this. yes, very good, Ken. Yes, yes, if you understood you, it. If you have sick, you uh, next day, next day, next day. And you cannot go. You cannot. You, you cannot go. go to. You cannot go to the practice. That's why you're going to use might. You are not really sure if you can go to the practice, right? So very good. Yes. Okay, you got it now. So now can next one. All right. What are you going to do? Is this one? All right. Write sentences in your notebook about what you may or might do this weekend. For example, I may get up early and go jogging. All right. I may get up early and go jogging. Next, I might do my homework on Sunday afternoon. Okay. So may, it means there is a big chance or a high chance that you will get up early. But I might, it means you are not really sure you're going to do your homework. Okay. It's the, I uh, I I might uh, I might um, I might uh, borrow English. <laughs> I might uh, I might I might M I would right. I may I might borrow English uh, this weekend uh, this this uh, this COVID nineteen yes all right I may. All right, I may. Barbie. I may be bored, ah. right? Bar. I may be bored studying. Studying English. English. Oh, why do you study? Studying. Studying. Uh, All right, I may study. be bored studying <laughs> English because of COVID-19. Okay. It it makes me not have a, uh, I study a lot and it makes yes. me All right. uh, boring. Yes, that is why you use may, right? Use yes. may. Okay, how about might? 
My taste. Uh, I might. Yes, I uh, I might um, like I I might uglier. Mm -hmm. oh, I might okay. uglier. Uh, you cannot use that one can if you are describing something. You oh. are going to use may and might so describe what oh. are you going to do. Yes, book about this. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, I might. Mm, it's like. Uh, I might. I might play feed game. my dog. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes, I dog, might play. My dog is out. Oh, my my two dog is out in my big house, and I don't play with them. I very right. it. My two dogs can. I will write your sentence. My two dogs is in my big house. house. Are we going to use is? My no. two dogs Was. are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. My two dogs are in my big house. So be careful, okay? Be careful using is and are. Okay? So thank you so much, Ken. All right. You can say I might play. Um, I might play uh, vol badminton, okay? Badminton tomorrow, oh. okay? No. I might play badminton tomorrow. So you use might because you are not very sure if you are going to play badminton, okay? Because uh, I very might very because it have COVID, so I don't know. I yes, you don't that. know if it is. If it will happen, okay. But I, I, uh, I might, I, I, my, I, I doll, uh, is like I not play badminton tomorrow. <laughs> yes. All right. That is why you use may might. But if you use may, right? If for example, for example, we're going to change that. I may play badminton tomorrow. So it's like you are very, you are quite sure, okay, that you're going to play. Yes. Right? That is why you were going to use might because you are not really sure. All but right. I'm really so, sure now. Oh, you're really sure now? Big... Yes. Oh, that is why you're going to use might because we're going Just, it's not sure. Uh, if if might you use like not play like badminton and play like game. Yes, okay. Play like game is might. But uh use play like badminton is wrong. All right, this one. Okay, let's change that one. All right, I might play games tomorrow. Okay? okay. All right, so now can we will move on to our new lesson. So let's listen first, okay? I want you to listen carefully and then uh, listen and number the pictures, okay? Yes. All if right. in the work not has, uh, if in the work not has uh, the electricity, what did you, uh, what, uh, what do, uh, what will you do? Oh, if there's no electricity, what am I going to do? Yes. What do I'm going to sleep do? early. <laughs> I'm going to sleep early at night <laughs> because there is no internet. There is no Facebook. There is no television. Right? Yes. How about you can? What will you do if there's no um if there's no electricity? Uh uh I will still be uh -huh. you will be more stupidly. Why? Why do you think? Because uh, I not study Yes, very good. You cannot study a lot, right? Just like this one. We cannot uh, talk with each other if there is no electricity, right? Because oh. our com because our computer oh. used electricity, okay? All right, so now, Ken, I want you to listen now. Oh, I love you. What happened? Wait. Turn on the music. Page 94. That's it. Listening. A. 
Listen and number the pictures. Okay. One. There are many different types of coal. Coal can be black or brown, hard or soft. We take it from the ground and use it as fuel in power plants. People use coal all over the world. Two. Oil is a fuel like coal, but it is a liquid. We pump oil up from under the ground using oil derricks, which look like tall towers. We usually turn oil into other products such as gasoline for cars. Three. Power plants turn fuel into electricity. The fuel can be coal or oil or something else. The power plant burns the fuel and makes power for us to use. That's why it's called a power plant. Bitch, I have finished. Four. You have finished already? Electricity yeah. goes from the power plant to our homes through wires. We use the electricity to run many items such as lights, heaters, and computers. Five. Wind turbines make electricity when the wind blows. Large turbines I often have blades. Some wind turbines are together in groups called wind farms. All right. So now let's go into. Let's try to answer it now. All right. So where is coal, Ken? Where is coal? Is it picture one, picture two, three, four, or five? Coal. Are you sure? Coal? It can be black. Uh, yes. Coal. All right. Are you sure? I uh, know. Picture uh, four. Number four. Picture four. Yes. Number okay. That's four. correct. Yes. This is coal. How about oil? I uh, is picture uh, three. Picture three. Yes. Very good. This is oil. They'll get it, the oil from underground, right? Yes. Okay, how about power plants? Uh, in beta three, uh, two. Feature two, this is a power plant? Yes. I'm not sure. Beta one. <laughs> yes, very good. This is power plants. Okay, very good. How about electricity? Electricity picture five. Very good. This is picture five. How about wind turbines? Picture two. All right. Picture. Picture two. two. Very good. So you got five out of five here. Okay. So now, can I will give you the homework. All right. The homework already. <laughs> Not yet done. Okay. This one can. You're going to write, Ken, you are going to write the items, use electricity in your home, okay? Uh, right, I want you to write, write all the things that use electricity in your home, okay? Okay. Uh, you can you, you can write um, as much as you want, okay? okay? As many things as you want. All the things that use electricity in your house. I don't know to write. You don't know to write? Because, yes, because I don't have any, any idea. Oh, for example, your computer. Computer used electricity, right? Yes. Uh, what uh, else? Uh, uh, iPhone. iPhone, yes. If you're going to charge it, you use electricity. Uh, iPhone. Uh, uh, the internet. Uh huh. Yes, the internet use electricity. Dell. Um, Dell, your computer. How about the, the light? Uh, the main idea is computer. How yes, about the light? Uh, the light. The light. Yes. What else? What else? Um. 
Um, look at your look at your room. Ah, the uh, what it is? Uh, the fan. Yes, yeah, the fan. The Very air good. conditioner. Mm -hmm. The air conditioner and yes. Uh, uh, Where you put your food? Where you put your food? If you want to be cold, uh, where do you put your food? It's in the ref refrigerator, right? Excuse me, can you write this? Oh, refrigerator. This one. Yeah. Ref re. Oh, ah, do you know this ref one? Yes. Yes, the ref. It uses electricity okay yes all right so very good so you we cannot use all right we cannot use those things can if we don't have electricity okay all right yes. so another activity can before i'll give you your break later uh, let's answer first this one so you are going to listen again and then you're going to fill in the missing word you can choose here okay oil Oh, power plant, my electricity, my blades, my and stuff. Yes, okay, oh, do you want to okay. listen again? Yeah, Let's yeah, listen yeah. again, okay? Wait. Oh, I think there's no number six here. All right, this one. No, it's that can. No, I just uh, didn't say anything. Uh, I was an up my mid. All right. Page 94. Mm -hmm. I think that's wrong. <gasps> what happened to this one? All right. Do you still remember that one, Ken? Can you answer this without the without the audio? Yes. All right. So I want you to choose your answer here, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, so is my black brow hat or... Uh Lock this. Or you can choose here oil, power plant, electricity, blades, or soft. Blades. Blades. All right. Coal can be black or brown, hard or. What is the antonym for hard? Hot is very hot. Uh, yes. What is the what is the opposite of hard? Uh, hot is choose, like. The car is you very here. hard. Yes, you choose here. What is the huh? antonym or yes, huh? very good. That is the opposite of hard. Huh? Soft. How about this one, number two? Blank is a fuel like coal, but it is liquid. Liquid. Mm -hmm. Which is liquid here? Liquid. Lit lit liquid. The uh, liquid uh, uh, is it oil? Power plant? Uh, yes, I, I is very oil. Liquid. All right, oil, very good. So you got the correct answer here. How about number two? Number three, power plant turn into power plant in, uh, into the electric. I mm know. -hmm. Uh, Rice. Blades? Right. All right. Blades. Let's, blades. Okay, let's see. All right, how about number four? Electricity go from the power plant. 
Okay, power plant. Okay, power plant. Very good. How about number six? I mean number five. Uh, number five is uh, electricity. Large turbines often have three electricity. Oh, please, please. <laughs> electricity is... <laughs> Okay, very good. Number three is electricity. Write that one on your book, okay? Okay. I All right, this is electricity. Yes, this is uh, blades, okay? Number yes. five is blades. Blades. All right, so you're done? Yes. Okay. So let's read all the sentences, okay? Number one, Ken. Number one is where? Uh, hey, number one, Paul Ken. Black or brown? Hat or uh, soft? Eye. Very good. Number two. Uh, uh, fuel. 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 Like coal, but it it is a uh, Liquid. Very good. Number three. Power plants can uh, fill. Few, few well. Few uh, well. Few well. Few well. Few well. Uh, into electricity. Mm -hmm. electricity Number four. Goes from power plant to our homes through wires. Mm -hmm. Light. Number five. Light turbines. Light, light turbines often have the blended lines. Blended. And all right, can you say blades? Uh, blades. Oh, have all right, blended. so now can blades. blades. All right, yeah. all right, can I will blades. blades? B, B, this is B. Okay, blades. This is the what we call blades, that one, right. Yeah. Okay, so Ken, I will give you your break first and then I want you to come back here, okay? Okay. All right. See you again.